Here's John and Bo with a different point of view. We want to hear it. John, go ahead. Hi. Hi. Hi, George. Hi. Yeah, uh, you say a different point of view. I, I, I don't know if I really have got a different point of okay, view. Okay, sorry. Go ahead. My point of view is is that, you know, I consider myself English. I know an uh, awful lot of English people. And, you know, we, we are not allowed to be English anymore. And I find that who's, hard who's, to who's take. Stopping I mean, you? Who's stopping you to be English? Well, I've never, and never what do you in mean my by life. English? Well, English, what I am, English. Yeah, but That's what I mean. But like what, what, someone, someone can be Jamaican, someone can be, you, you're Scottish, you can be Scottish, but uh, I'm not allowed to be English. But what do you I've mean? Got, Who's stopping you being English? Uh, the, well, the government, everyone is. I, I, the government, I, what's the government doing to stop you well, being English? Well, uh, because I've got to be British. British. I'm not allowed to be English. I, I, I have never been allowed to hold a English passport. But that's because you don't live in a state called England. You live in a state called the United Kingdom of United Great Britain Kingdom, Great and Northern Britain. Ireland. Okay, well, most, oh, fair enough. Most people are uh, quite glad about that, actually, John. Uh, well, look, I haven't really got a problem with that. You, but were, I mean, you, were, you were glad about it in the Second World War. Was I really? Well, well you, you would have been if you were around. You would have been glad of the contribution made by Scottish, Welsh, well, no, Irish just, servicemen defending just, Britain against Hitler, wouldn't you? Okay, George. It's a small island. Is, it's a small island, John. Yeah, okay. The fact of the matter is, I work hard, right? I'm not racist in any way whatsoever. But I work hard. At the end of the day, all I want is to be what I am. But no, I live in who's, England. Who's stopping and I you? I want to be proud of our country. But well, who's stopping you? Well, everything is stopping me. But you say when that, but you're not giving me any... Ex the only example you've given me is that you don't have an okay. English passport. Okay, okay, another one. When I get a census come through the door, I will not have English written on that census. It's, it's well, just not there. It's a, you know, I'm not allowed to I can be what I am. I, I, I can understand that that might be slightly uh, you know, irritating, but I, I'm not sure that it well, adds it's, up it's to everybody irritate. stopping actually, you. I'm it not, makes John. Me angry. It makes other people angry. I'll tell you and what. I'll tell you what, John. John, stay, on. On, stay on the line, will you? Because I want to talk to you more, and okay. uh, I've got to take a break now. Do you no mind? Worries. Yep, no worries. All yep. right, my friend. Thanks very much. John in Bow will be back after the news because he thinks that everyone is stopping him being English, and I'm determined to get to the bottom. I want to know who these bounders are that are stopping him from being English. And if I can root them out, if I can help uh, uh, punish them, I certainly shall. This is John Inbo, who's kindly agreed to stay on the line. John, you still there, sir? Yep. Thank you, Jules. Yeah. Yes, I am. No, yes. I, I just want to explore this, because I know that there are people who think like you, and uh, I just want to get to the bottom of it. Now, okay. we, we identified two things before the break. The first was that you've never been allowed to have an English passport. Well, that can yep. never change because we have the a state, European and we, we've had it. No, no, not that, but we've had the state of Great Britain for 300 years. Okay. Uh, so it's not going to change. Uh, at least I hope it's not going to change. So you'll always have a British passport. Uh, but the other thing is about the census. I can see that that might be uh, irritating, but it doesn't seem a terribly big thing to get you so upset. So I'm wondering if you think there are other people and other things that are stopping you being English. Well, I know there is. I don't think there, I don't think there is. I know there is. I mean, for a fact, um, I'm, I'm not allowed to be patriotic. Who stops you being patriotic? Well, because I'm, if I'm patriotic, I'm called a racist. No, 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 no. Tomorrow, um, England are playing Scotland at rugby. Okay, yeah. Uh, who's stopping I know, you I know, yeah. supporting I know England to the no, hilt? No, When I say being patriotic, patriotic to my country, I mean, if, 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 if I want to be English, I mean, I hear things all the time. Um, I mean, I'm not saying they're right or wrong. I mean, I understand. I'm not stupid. Um, I'll give you an example. If Christmas comes along and say, for instance, like, oh, there's people that they don't like things about Christmas that are going. Who? Who? Who doesn't? Well, who doesn't? I, I, I don't want to pin it down to who's, because that'll make me a racist. No, but, but, but I'm asking you because it's a complete myth. Well, you say it's a myth, but I read it in the newspapers day in, 
well, not day in, day out, I actually don't, but I read it in newspapers. Every Christmas, I will read it. Yeah, you're right. And why, why, why do you think you're and reading... John, well, John, know, why, right. John, John, why do you think you're reading something that isn't true year after year? Why do you think you're that... You're saying it's not true. Well, you tell me, give me a single example of any person who is not English yep. complaining about Christmas. Because well, you won't I'm, be able to, I promise you. I'm, 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 I'm going to be honest with you now, George. My friends that I know, most of them are not English. Do not complain about it. They actually celebrate it. Of course they do. Which, which is good. Yeah, but that, that's my point. It, it, it's a myth, John. There no, is nobody... Got a point. But, you know, the myth, the, the, there isn't a myth that I can't celebrate being English in my own country but it wasn't, that I live but, in. But, John, you've only given me three examples, and okay. two of them, two of them are uh, are invalid because we don't live in a country where there's a state called England so you can't have an English passport. You've acknowledged to me that none okay. of your non-English friends have ever complained yeah, oh, about Christmas. Saying, you've yeah. acknowledged that and you've been honest about that. So That's we're true. back down to the one single thing which is every five years on a census form. Now that just cannot be the sum total of, your, of the chip that's on your shoulder, John. Well, it no, can't it's be. Not. Actually it's not. And actually it's not a well, you, you call it a chip on my shoulder. No, I don't mean that pejoratively. Let me put it another way then. The okay. gripe, the gripe that you've got. Okay. It must be enough. bigger than a census form. Yep. Okay. Fair enough. No, it's not that. No, it's not that. It's the things. I'm going to be honest with you now, George. I live in this country. I was born in this country, and I love this country. When I was a young man, and I'm not anymore. I would have went and fought, and I would have if I had to died for this country, and I would have. And I'm like you, I don't believe in the wars that are going on now. But at the end of the day, I would have fought and died for this country when I was a young man. And what would it have been for? For me not to be allowed to be English, because <clears throat> George, with all your goodwill, at the end of the day, you know, we are as an Englishman, I am not allowed to be English in my country. But it's John, a... John, I wish I had more time, but I don't. Because you keep saying that, but you actually are incapable of giving me a single example beyond the census form every five years in which anybody is stopping you being English. Now, I don't give a damn who wins the rugby, John. I really couldn't give a damn because it's... Uh, 30 men chasing uh, uh, the wrong shaped uh, ball for me. Uh, but I can assure you, nobody will stop you being English watching that game tomorrow. Nobody will stop you being English watching the World Cup in June. And I'll surprise you, John. I hope that you win. There you go. Nobody, but nobody, least of all people who are a different colour from you. And I know that you didn't bring up colour, and I respect that. But there's nobody stopping you being English. If there was, you would have been able to give me an example, and you couldn't. 